Okay, C. Lindelof videos, graphing inequalities on your TI Inspire cast. This is actually really easy, but I thought I'd show it to you because I don't think people get how easy it is. So all I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go to my home page. I'm going to try to show you everything off the calculator um, keyboard. So my home page, I'm going to go to graph. I'm going to add a graph here. And then look, this is all I'm going to do. I'm just going to go back here and I'm going to... Right, so I'm at this entry window right here. It's going to backspace. As soon as you backspace, it asks you what you want. I'm going to use less than, right, and then I'm going to make it sine x. So I want less than sine x. So check this out. Uh, because we know that because sine x is not less than sine x, that's why we have the broken, we have the broken outline here, right? And this curve is sine x, and everything under it is less than that. So that's actually pretty good I think uh, the other thing I would probably do here is this I'd go to, to my menu because I'm doing a trig function and I go to window and I'd go to settings and I guess I would go here and I'd make this like negative two to make the picture prettier so make this like negative two make this two so you can get contrast two and then hit okay so there's my picture look I can go to the next one though so this is what I'm doing. I want to graph these in comparison to one another. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go back to tab, right? And it gives me the second function that I put in. That's what this F2 is, my second function. And I'm going to put in is that it's uh, greater than, and then I'm going to put cosine of x. So now we can start to make, we can start to compare stuff, see? This is pretty cool. And it, your screen will be in color. Depending on what color you use last, that predicts what color you get next. So I'm not saying if you, you're going to get these blues and light blues, but you're going to get this. And you can see that I said that cosine is, that the function is greater than cosine. Here is the cosine function. Oh, did I mess that up? Oh, I want it greater than or equal to. So that's fine, because what I'm going to do here is just, I'm just going to go up. And here I wanted not greater than, but I wanted greater than or equal to. So here's my greater than or equal to. So my point is here. So it's greater than or equal to. Well, cosine is greater than or equal to itself, so the outline is solid. This one, for sine that we have, we wanted less than sine, and sine is not less than itself. So that's why it's broken. And you could do this any way you want. The other option that you have, if you don't want to graph these in comparison to one another, is you can obviously go back to the window here, right? You can go back up to menu, you can hit graph again, it will you'll insert a new graph, and then you can put in, I don't know, x squared, I guess, whatever you want. Oh, look, remember that we're going to do some comparison, right? So we want to, um, let's say, less than that, right? So there's the picture. And then if I want to go, right, if I want to go back to the other one, it's really easy. Just hit control and hit your toggle, and there, I'm back to the other one. Hit control to the right, and see, I'm moving, I just pointed at the screen with my finger so you couldn't see it. So when I hit control to the right, it moved me from 1.2 to 1.3. And if you remember, 1.1 was the entry page, the note that we started with. So I hope this is, is interesting. Um, remember, these can be screen captured and printed and put into Word documents. It's amazing what you can do with this stuff. So this would um, actually really be good, especially like for college projects and so forth. So if you have any questions or comments, you let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I appreciate it.